Hewitt with a good pick up trying to burst away. And he was dumped, bumped after he got rid of it. A little high from Dugowie. Advantage goes to the Eagles. Trouble. That's trouble for Jordan Dugowie. Yeah, I think if uh, he got three, Collingwood would say absolutely we'll take it. Four or five is probably not far away from being reasonable. It's this sickening hit on Elijah Hewitt there, the teenager. I think that is a weak act from Jordan Ngoi and he'll get four for that. It means he won't play for five weeks. I'm fearful it is one of the great wastes of a career that we've seen. So it's careless, it's high, the, the outcome was severe. He will go to the tribunal, he'll get three weeks mm. and he'll deserve his three weeks. I'm not, I'm not absolving from any of that. Okay. But the hysteria that's surrounded, and what a West Coast tweeting about Jordy to go again. It's, it's none of their business. And, and, and Dom Sheed saying like, I've now just seen the vision. Maybe we should have stood up for him. None of the players stood up because it wasn't seen anything outside of a football act. All right. Sparked a heap of debate today, and your comments yesterday on the weak act in your words also sparked debate. Do you? Do you think they were too strong at the time, or you stand by them? No, I stand by it even more so, just watching it again. It's football 2023's version of a weak act. I mean, you know, 10 years ago that was fine, and I understand that. But in rugby, it's a great example. They've just outlawed that. The shoulder charge is gone. If you do that in rugby, you're in all sorts of trouble. So why are we in, in rugby? Your that? suspension starts after the injured player returns. Yeah, yeah. So they, they yeah. take it. They actually take it seriously. It's like when we used to allow the front-on bump. Now, if anyone did that, you automatically go oh, and you're confronted by that. So it was a helpless player. It was a helpless teenager, and. I thought it was a cheap shot. I thought it was a weak act. And I'm actually surprised so many have come out and defended that action today. So I, th I think words like cheap, words like weak can be quite confronting and seen as quite personal. And it got me thinking, if, Corns, if you think that's a cheap shot or weak act, what about some of the other ones that we've seen in, in recent times? So this is obviously the Dugowie one. Um, he was, Hewitt was knocked out. We're going to the tribunal tomorrow night. We think he'll get somewhere between three and four. But if we have a look at some of the other ones that we can compare to. In, so this is picking on Bailey Smith earlier this year. So he's lucky that Smith got up straight away. Mm. I'm not sure how you would describe yeah, that yeah. one as we go. This is Stewart on Prestia. We know that, I mean, that was four weeks a year ago. It probably feels like more like five or six if it happened this year, given what we know. And this is the, the infamous one mm. from, from Andrew Gaff. Andrew Gaff missed basically a, a fair bulk of the season for what he did on Brayshaw. Are those... All pretty weak. Do, do they, do yeah, they live all, in the all, same all family? All pretty weak acts. I said... Pickett was a human missile. That's how I describe that. Now, he's fortunate he wasn't knocked out, so it's not as confronting. With the Tom Stewart one, I called for a send-off rule after that. He should have been sent off for that. That's how seriously I took and, that. And the go it comes at the worst possible time. He's putting together his best body of work. The suggestion was the penny had finally dropped, and now he's faces a month maybe more on the sidelines. In whatever way he finds a way to derail his season touch. Yeah, and when I said that the waste of talent because genuinely he's a, he's a freakish talent. This is comparing him to some players that I see him with similar attributes to at the same age. 27, 9 seasons in. Look, look at Bonson Pelly. Full time professional elite players. That's what you can do if you maximise your talent. Toby Green has had his issues but look at his resume up against the go. You can put anyone else up there as well. Clayton Oliver, Petrarca, like the accolades that they have got, Jordan degoe has got one top eight best and fairest result in nine years. But I'd be buying stocks in him though. You know how you talk about buying stocks? Yeah. I'd be buying them because I think that... Even with the month off? He's, made a, he's made a bad mistake. A another there. bad mistake. And he's made a bad mistake, but that's a, a bad mistake that is very different to his previous bad mistakes. And Toby Green on the right is a perfect example of guys who's made mistakes but still done a lot Just right. So he, he may well be the Norm Smith medalist at the end of the year. Wouldn't surprise me with a big final does series. does speak to a lack of... Maybe a premiership Just title. overall discipline, though, don't you think? Oh, like no, the, I, I, know I was different. talking to Sam tonight yeah. on radio. I've made those mistakes. And it's those mistakes are different to making a mistake on a footy trip. But it's, to Kane's point, you had a body of work when you were making those mistakes. No, but I still had at those moments of you just try and execute a bump and you get that bump wrong. Yeah, but I think over his journey as a teammate of yours, and if you were his captain, he would have frustrated you significantly. Because yeah, he be, lets you down yeah, every but year. I think maybe this year, I've got a lot more faith in him that what the next five, six years are going to be. Yes, he may have wasted up until now, but the next five or six years, I think it's going to be good for him. And Nick Dacos hurt them, and the way they're using him is... Elite, isn't it? So you look for opportunities with the player that's out. So Dago is going to be out for three or four weeks wherever it lands, and and how do you 
you get better when he's out? Well, it's with this guy. He just plays his role, doesn't he? He just comes in and plays through the midfield. There is the split so far. We saw every time they challenge Collingwood, he's the one that goes into the middle. The same thing happened in the third quarter when they challenged him. This is what I want to see. I don't need your 38 across half back. That's great, and we all love it, and we've lauded what he's done. But for him and the team to have another advantage and get, get better... I think he plays the go role, and I'm looking forward to see um, him deployed in that way. Just on West Coast, I know this will sound a bit hard, but uh, stand for something. Like the, they didn't need to wind back that uh, that uh, Instagram post. It's embarrassing. They didn't need to apologise for it. Totally. Agree. They didn't need to back away Dom Sheen's uh, comments either. It, just going saying it straight to the tribunal was, was obvious. It wasn't a criticism. The Sheen and, one suggesting the punishment, though, you can understand why that they would like. You don't want to prejudice a, well, a tribunal. This, this is what he said. I heard it was pretty bad and the boys probably didn't respond the way that we should have when, when that happened. But, yeah, I think, you know, watching it back now, I think he deserves a good month or two on the sidelines. Symbolic of the footy club, I reckon. Just too comfortable. Don't, don't walk this back. We've well, seen... Still uh, I know yeah. you've been noble, but... Well, even Gold Coast... Yeah, like, the only old kid got hit. Well, even, even Will Power was really critical of the Van Royen hit on Ballard earlier on in the year on, on SCNWA. They, did, they didn't apologise, and that was nowhere near yep. as, as severe as what Dugowie did. So that, that was a, a poor look. All they did was state of fact, and they looked pretty is, weak. Is the bigger apologize. issue what they didn't do on the field? Yeah, I think that's the, that's the issue yeah. which we discussed um, yesterday. Yeah. Yo played a, a really good game, to be fair. He's, they've been few and far between with his well, body. What, what, what's his currency, Lord? Eh? Like, he's 29, he's powerful... Clark. His body's banged up. Where do you see him? Will well, they find some value in a trade? Oh, not now, but in 10 weeks' time, it might be different, huh? So, yeah, it's, it's so... I, I think that, yeah, he, West Coast would move him on, I think, and it'd be a great opportunity for him to get to a club that could play finals and potentially be part of a premiership again. Uh, Where would you, who would take him on? Uh, I'm saying, yeah, would be attractive we're talking of clubs. Sydney. I see what, say, for example, Tom Mitchell has done for Collingwood and how he's just added a layer... A team that's in that premiership mix would be big, and Hutchie's mentioned Sydney. I don't know how they rebound next year after what they've done this when year. When you say it's this sort of stuff, you usually know something. No, they haven't really got that handy defensive... Handy can't tag every week. They haven't got a big, mm, big demonstrative body. mid well, a lot of teams to don't. support those kids. Look at what Dunkley's done for Brisbane. Yep. And he's not going to play every week, but he's had some value. 